this is the beautiful sapodilla and this particular variety is called the tropical sapodilla and sapodillas are also called chicle is another name for them and I really love these fruits if you are a fan of sweet fruits you're going to love the sapodilla I'm just going to try this for you I'm going to see if I can really describe it for you it's really beautiful it's not very juicy it's it's sort of the texture of a pear and the flavor of caramel brown sugar it's the color of cinnamon absolutely beautiful now sapodillas are a fruit that ripens off the tree so first of all you need to know when it's mature so to tell that your fruit is mature you just lightly scratch the skin and if it's green underneath the skin it's not mature you need to leave it on the tree longer if you start to get that lovely cinnamon color showing through it's ready to pick now once you pick your fruit you then need to leave it to ripen so sit it on your bench for about three or four days and it'll go soft and once it's soft and a little bit squishy you'll know that it's ready to eat and it's ripe so first test your maturity and second let it ripen they're also grown in Mexico for the uh, natural chewing gum so once upon a time there are a million sapodilla trees in Mexico that supplied the sap that made the latex that made natural chewing gum this has all been made by synthetic products nowadays but this is how it was originally made now if you want to grow a sapodilla you are going to need a warm climate they're a tropical tree so you're going to need a nice warm frost free position they're also very slow growing so perfect for growing in containers and if you're in a marginal climate it can be an ideal way to grow them because you can move them into a sheltered spot in the winter now I have found the sapodilla to be a very hardy plant so it certainly survives through dry springs here in the subtropics without any problems with irrigation you're going to get a much better crop and you're going to get faster growth so if you can give it the things that it needs some fertilizer in the growing season full sun and most of all be patient with your sapodilla tree because they do take time to grow into a beautiful tree when you can pick these absolutely delightful fruits My name is Kath Kermode. Thank you for watching this video. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Please click on the bell to subscribe to our videos so you don't miss any. And keep watching here at dailiesfruit.com.au.